Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am going to do another painting today. I haven't done the last few, but I started on this one already. I just um, primed my canvas with my gesso and I'm gonna let it dry and then come back and we'll get started on the painting. This is a oil painting I did. It is still drying because oil paintings take forever. Hope you guys like it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let this dry and I will be back with you guys in just a little bit. Alrighty guys, I think I'm ready. The sun has gone down a little bit, so we're gonna give this a shot. I have my paints here. Sorry about the lighting. This is my gumbosher paints. So let's get started, shall we? So we're gonna start right off with the outline. Okay guys, here we go on a long, strenuous journey of making this panther. <laughs> now, just a note, I should have done my background first, but I was so anxious and ready to get started on the panther that I was like, you know, I'm gonna go do this right now. I wanna get painting on this panther. I love panthers so much and I have been wanting to do this for the longest time but I have been so afraid of messing it up. I did not want to mess this up. So yeah, this is the outline. We're going to get him drawn out and then fill him in. Okay guys, I am back. I am trying to stay still because this microphone picks up everything I am noticing. Um, and I have a big jacket on because it's really cold. but. I'm going in with a stiff brush. It's one of those hard bristle brushes and I'm just pushing into the canvas and um, there are little pieces of the brush coming out onto the canvas because I guess it's a cheap brush. I don't know. I've had them forever. But I'm just doing that to get some texture and giving the base layer the texture. So when I go back over it with the shadows and shading and everything that it shows through. And it really did a good job. See right there, that the gesso lifted my paint off of the painting. That has never happened before, but I decided just to grab a hold of the, the easel itself to use that as some support. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, here I am fiddling with the nose and the lips. And I do this a lot because I didn't like the way the dimensions came out in the outline. And that's why I love painting so much because you could just fix it. And another thing, my reference photo, yes, I was using a reference photo, was a little flat. It made his nose look so flat and I didn't like how it turned out in the reference so I made it my own by extending his nose out to give it a more pronounced look. And I think in the end it made him look more stronger and more masculine, I guess you could say. <laughs> but. I'm going in and going to do a little bit of the shadows here on his nose and we spend a lot of time on this in this painting because I have to get it right and it's hard to see but I'm lining up where his eye is supposed to be in reference to his lip and the top of his nose and then I'm going to go in with some more shading and shadowing and trying to get the details of his lips in. And I think it looked good here, but I ended up changing it later on. Now, one thing I did notice is it's hard to see with the light reflecting on the canvas the way it is, but I wanted you guys to get a good view of this painting. So I'm doing my best here. I just moved the light <laughs> because it was so bright from the black reflecting, the light reflecting off the black. I, I moved the light so you could see a little bit better on the details and I go back and again I end up having to use a different reference photo to get the shadows and shading the way I wanted it because it wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to so it's always best to go and look at other pictures to see how the light bounces off of the black fur and that was going to be my challenge with this painting is how to get the light to go in and be 
Sorry about that, guys, but I was talking about the light reflecting off the black fur. Okay. I had to cough a little bit. Um, but, yeah, you want to get your lighting right. And I noticed with my first reference photo, it was hard to see. So I used a different one. And I think by the end, I got it right. I think it looks really, really cool. But you'll see in a little bit. It's going to take us a good hot minute to get there. <laughs> I could have sped this up a lot faster, but I wanted you guys to see, get a good look at how I was doing my details and not just rush through it. Now, I do move around a lot on this painting because I, I see that if I spend a lot of time in one spot, I will end up obsessing about it and turning it into trash. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I move around a lot. I did do the shadow under the eyes, and that that was fun. That, e that was easy. I got it done over with. And see, with the lips here, I... I'm pretty sure I did that like five, six times. I can't even remember, but I kept messing with it because I did not like how it was turning out. And the shadow on the nose, I forgot that his nose was a little bit bigger, <laughs> which is fine. I go back over it. That's why I love paint. But here I am trying to get the shadows right again, and I think it's a little too white, so I add a little black, and that just gives it a layered texture layer, and I'm doing the feathering with the brush and that makes the difference guys when you feather with your brush when you're doing the shadows it really makes it look like fur now here is the eye and I was not expecting this to turn out as good as it did but I did the brow you see the brow at the top and I made it like a sharp line and his eye comes down here I am sharpening his brow and doing the the shadows underneath now we're gonna go in with the pupil and I start small because you never know you don't want it to be too big so you start off small and then build up from there and you can see me talking that's what I'm talking about here I am trying to get the shadow of his brow over his eye and that turned out so fantastic it did really good I was so surprised but yeah Okay, so I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had to go eat. Now I'm back and we're going to work on this shadow again. And here's where I pulled in my second reference photo to get a shadow texture detail on the black fur because it was hard to see in the other photo. Now the white you see in the bottom right hand corner, that is a piece of wood or a piece of tree that he is peeking out from behind. And I went ahead and added that after I finished my dinner. Just a little da, 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 da. different shapes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect because the main focus is the panther. So, yeah. Here I am doing more and more details on my shadows, getting my light values right, getting it in the right place. I wish I had better lighting. That is going to be like. A thing I asked Santa for. <laughs> hey Santa, bring me umbrella lights. <laughs> but here I am putting in the detail on the tree. Now I'm not going overly crazy on this. I did spend a little bit more time than I wanted to because I wanted to kind of blend in the colors of the wood and the textures and all that to at least make it look realistic and kind of coincide with how much detail I was putting into my panther. So I worked really, really hard on this when I shouldn't have. I should have just let it go, I guess. I don't know. I am my own worst critic. <laughs> I think it looks fine, but you, you could be the judge of that. I love the panther, though. I can't say that enough. I was really, really surprised at how, how good it turned out. <laughs> But I encourage you guys to find something like this that you want to paint and that you, you you find an image. Say you find an image online of something that you really, really love. And me, that would be Black Panthers. I love them. They're so beautiful. I have a black cat that kind of looks like one and I call him Binks. He's so sweet. But oh gosh, here I am trying to do like some kind of detailed shadow. No. Okay. I, I, no. Anyway, <laughs> find a picture online of something that you really, really love and challenge yourself to paint it, just like I did here. Like, it took me weeks to get up the courage to do this because I, I did not want to mess it up. 
weeks, man. Weeks. So, here I am putting in the background, which I should have done in the beginning, but I'm now realizing, you know, I jumped into the painting going, okay, I'm going to paint my, my panther now and forgot all about the background. And that never happens, but I was just overly excited. So I'm going in with some burnt umber and some titanium white and a little bit of the black, just mixing in together, putting some a little bit of tint of blue, just a little bit down by the bottom. And I'm trying not to get the panther messed up and I should have done the background first. Always do your background first. Here I am trying not to mess up the lines I made and I have to go over it with the black later on but just getting it all settled in, getting the background together with the black and it's fine if you have to go over it because it's acrylics and they dry pretty fast so I didn't have to worry about the drying on this that bad. I really didn't. It kind of just worked. And I think a lot of that had to do with me needing the shadows and the paint mixing. So I didn't have to wait for it to dry. It was just a, a constant painting. I kept painting. There was non-stop action, except for when I went to eat dinner. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm getting the background done. And there you see my gray hair. Good lord. Oh. It runs in my family. We get gray hair quick. <laughs> There's no staying young forever. And here I am going back over the, the line of my background and my panther. Just detailing it up. Getting it the way I want it. I've run out of things to say because I, there's just a lot of talking going on in the video and I skipped over it because this would have been a three hour long video of me explaining what I'm doing, how I'm doing the details oh yeah I brightened up the bottom of the, the eye look at that it just brought it to life it just like jumps out at you it's so beautiful and from here you I just noticed you can really see his brow bone and it looks really cool and you can see it in real life but oh my god it looks good okay so this part took forever and I I hate doing whiskers and back here it didn't look that bad but it, and when I was looking at it in person I kept getting so frustrated and so upset now I could have cut this out of <laughs> the video but I decided not to because I wanted to talk to you guys about this situation <laughs> that I'm dealing with here uh, one I could not find a liner brush thin enough and I think I went through three or four brushes trying to get the perfect straight line there I am holding two brushes in my hand at one time <laughs> I mean I I could have had this painting done in maybe two hours but here I am bringing it closer so you guys can see now I'm using a paintbrush that I cut up I cut it up so I can get these really thin lines and then in the end there was a bunch of big blotches that I didn't like Sorry guys, I had to cough again. It's it's hard to do narrations. I should I should just talk through the video, but like I said, I had to speed this up because I didn't want it to be like a three hour long video. A lot of you like to sit through those, but um, I didn't want to bore you with me messing this up a thousand times over. Oh my god. <laughs> just look at me tear through this. <laughs> I... I can't explain it. I hate doing whiskers. And I'm trying to pull it up close so you guys could see. And I get so frustrated that I just keep covering up and doing it again. Covering up and doing it again. And it kind of looked good when I did the black over top of it the first time. Now, I did notice that you could see through it. So it brought the white through the black. And it kind of looked like a shade of a whisker. I guess that would be a word for it. Here I am messing with the nose because I decided to stop with the whiskers. And I'm, I'm getting the the dark black detail. You see that there. And I'm messing with those lips again. Trying to get those lips right. <laughs> but I had to stop with the whiskers and move on to something else and just take a breath. Uh oh, here we go. Come on, get some paint on the brush. Okay, there we go. There's the lip. I got it in and it looks so cool. All right, now, I think I'm getting ready to tackle the whiskers again, yes. 
<laughs> oh my god this is an actual professional brush i have right here and it's supposed to be made for these things and that's why i bought them and it's failing and it's i'm getting so upset and i'm so glad you cannot hear the audio oh my gosh i'm getting so upset that, that this is the reason why i bought this brush and it's not doing its job <laughs> Okay, enough about this brush and how it's not doing its job, but I'm going to cut the video here soon, and yeah, I'll explain afterwards. But I hope you guys are enjoying this video. It was it was a lot of hard work, it really was, and I hope you are as pleased with it as I am. Alright guys, I'm not going to sit here and bore you for an hour trying to get these whiskers in, so I'm going to turn off the camera, and when I get them done, I will bring you back. Alrighty guys, so that's the best I could do with the whiskers. I added a few little hairs up here in this white spot and some down here and some around the nose and a few down in here. And I did the whiskers and up there. It took a good 30 minutes <laughs> and I did some here. I gave him eyelashes, but I'm gonna call it done from here. You know what? Wait guys, wait, wait, wait. There is something missing. I see it right here. Okay, so I go back in and realize that the shadow of the tip of the nose, the shading is not done, so I go in and try and rectify that. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing now. Okay, it's hard to see with the light. I can see better through the viewfinder of the camera as far as where my light light values are here so yeah i'm still fiddling with it that is a thing being a painter you keep messing with it messing with it messing with it my husband told me on my oil painting he's like you leave it alone put the brush down walk away because i kept trying to do the shadows and shades and stuff but whatever <laughs> i'm doing that here too adding in his nostril and everything well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is all I have time for today. If you liked this video, then feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to see more. And I thank you for watching guys. Have a good one. Bye!